Before I start the video, I would like to give a massive shout out to my Patreons who have been supporting my channel. If you would like to check out my Patreon and receive early access to some very exciting videos coming soon, then please click the link in the description below. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Nerd Den here once again and I apologise for not uploading for nearly a week. Um, I've been busy being back at uni um, and yeah, I'm now back into the swing of things on YouTube. I know Doctor Who's been fairly quiet recently so it's not going to be a big video today but I wanted to talk about this because I am very intrigued um, by this bit of news because a lot of us, um, including myself, are fans of the Doc 2 collection box sets and when they're announced, um, so for example recently with season 15, um, there's like a short film, like a little snippet of something uh, which brings back actors that used to be in the classic series. So we had Louise Jameson, who um, previously played Leela in the classic series, uh, reprise her role, and it was nice to see her on Gallifrey um, during the Time War, and we got Daleks, and it looked stunning. And we've had stuff with uh, Tegan before, uh, Nyssa, and so many cool uh, little trailers which were bloody fantastic. But anyway... Let's have a look at this news because it looks like they are coming to an end, unfortunately. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so here we are. Uh, this is from Screen Rant. There are a lot of work. Doctor Who is slowing down a beloved five-year tradition. So uh, Doctor Who writer Pete McTeague revealed that the collection of the short films have uh, decided to wind down with future classic releases. So uh, these short films, as I said at the beginning, have been with every collection box set announcement, which has been really cool to see. You know, we've seen some familiar faces, faces that haven't been used on the main show, which, you know, a lot of people have been petitioning to have certain companions come back, and it's been nice that whilst they haven't been represented in the main show, you know, they've come back for these releases, and it's been nice to see where these characters have ended up uh, post their adventures in the TARDIS, which is lovely, uh, because whilst we've seen Tegan come back, we haven't seen Nyssa, so it's nice to get an update on where Nyssa is, but anyway, here we go, um, so yeah, these trailers serve as an introduction to the classic Who era for, uh, for new fans, showcasing the impact of classic companions, um, you know, on their adventures and stuff like that, and seeing where they are in the present day, and kind of fit in with New Who, so it is a really good way to get fans of New Who into classic who which i do love that you know it, it it's that beautiful merge um of you know pleasing fans of both eras and to be honest classic who does deserve a lot of love because without classic who we wouldn't have new who and uh, i'm glad that uh, the writers do see that i'm i am glad but um anyway let's have a look so whilst there will still be future collection uh, short films there will be fewer released over time leaving viewers eager to see which classic character will be revisited so um the writer obviously pete mcteague did reveal that um, they will be winding down because of their extensive production because since 2019 the collection box sets have uh, been announced with a trailer featuring the return of classic doctors companions and foes in new adventures so the latest trailer for i mean that is season 15 is meant to be i believe um, not season 14 again i, I could be getting it wrong because with classic who i always struggle with well what seasons what Whereas like knew who I know off the you know the tip of my hat basically, but yeah. Anyway, so yeah, obviously the latest trailer we saw Leela in the Time War in the final days of the Time War against the Daleks, which I thought was really cool. Uh, but at a BFI screening uh, for the upcoming home release, uh, Pete McTeague did say that um, the short films um, will be taking like a you know, like a winding down period. There's one already that's been filmed, uh, but not every single one will have a release. But yeah, you know, as uh, described here by Screen Rant, they were really good at bringing in newcomers because whilst, yeah, you know, fans of New Who wouldn't necessarily know characters like Leela and stuff, but the fact that, you know, we had these short films with these characters, we had like backdrops like the Time War, for example, with this latest release, and we had Time War era Daleks, we know... New Who fans would obviously know what Gallifrey is and, you know, the Time War and stuff like that. You know, that was a long-running uh, story arc for years. 
So, you know, it, it's nice that that's been uh, represented here um, with the latest release. And it would be nice, you know, to have this um, continue. But obviously, I understand that with certain releases, it would probably have to be phased out. Because obviously, with the very early classic era stories, so for example, with um, you know, so, some of the missing episodes, like with uh, earlier Hartnell seasons, where you know, for example, where most of the season might be missing, unfortunately, due to uh, the archives being wiped and the episodes not actually being out there, you know, they might just save time and just not do a short film about it. Which, whilst I am disappointed that that is the case, because obviously every classic era box set does, does you know, deserve the love, but I, I can understand where they'd want to save money, because uh, Pete McTeague also did say that they don't get the biggest budget when it comes to this, and they don't have the biggest production time in order to film these. But I've got to say, every single uh, new short film that they release for the collection box set trailers, they, they keep on getting better and better. And is getting a slice of uh, like a remastered classic Who, getting that old style Doctor Who feel, which I love. You know, I, I really do. And whilst I haven't even watched uh, the season that is being uh, remastered, I am really looking forward to getting the box set and watching these stories for the first time in the best quality possible, but also with the extensive bonus features. So literally, everything that's included in there is just a treat for me, and I absolutely cannot wait to uh, see where the future of this collection goes because the collection box sets in my opinion are just worth the money they are they're, they're literally like gold they are incredible but anyway thank you so much for tuning into today's video if you are new around here please click that like button and subscribe for more nerdy content because i'm back in the swing of things now obviously yeah doctor who news isn't you know rampant right now but you know we're not too far away from may we're only about four months. Well, no, actually, no, three months, near enough, isn't it? Right? Hang on. March, April, May. Yeah, yeah, we are. I just had to do some maths there. But honestly, I am looking forward to uh, continuing the channel and uh, doing uh, some unique style videos because obviously, whilst the news isn't the best, um, I want to obviously talk about the show and, uh, you know, maybe do some challenges and stuff like that. But I just want to mention a few things as well. So whilst I haven't been uploading a lot recently, um, I have been on a few channels and the first one is the Type 40 podcast YouTube channel. And on Type 40, it's been lovely speaking to Dan, Sarah, Simon, Charlotte, Shah and loads of other people. Ian, uh, in, in this one as well, we had Stephen Noonan. It was absolutely incredible talking about all things Doctor Who. Um, and there's always a variety of guest panellists, you know, who you know, love various eras of Doctor Who and there's always unique conversations to be had and it's just so nice to be, you know, in a virtual room with so many incredible, um, you know, Doctor Who fans who, you know, love various eras of, of, of the show and it's just nice to have that conversation um, about, you know, why we love Doctor Who, how it's had an impact on our lives and stuff like that and it is really cool to, you know, talk to people like that. So, yeah, be sure to check them out. And then, I've also been on the Geek Rambled YouTube channel. Yes, Shah, who is also a member of the Type 40 podcast, has her own YouTube channel, and I took part in the Charlestial Games, which is a, a very interesting Doctor Who quiz, uh, where there's like, you know, a randomizer, and it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's very interesting. But, um... Yeah, you know, in, in, in this episode, you know, obviously the Shah, there's Mr. Tardis, Stephen Noonan, Chris Walker-Thompson, Jack Alexander. I think my face cam is uh, blocking him there. But yeah, Jack Alexander, who is my fellow MCM uh, co-host for the uh, Doc 2 panels that we get up to, he was there. Even my dog Dave is there as well. He uh, jumps in at some point. But honestly, it's it's been a blast being on other Doctor Who YouTube channels. That is something I want to do more this year because last year I met so many incredible people in the Doc 2 community. You know, I, I featured in fan films, I've obviously, you know, uh, done a bit of networking, been on podcasts, and it's just it's just been a blast. So if you would like to see me work with any other Doctor Who YouTubers or whatever, get them on the Just a Nerd podcast, which will be starting up soon. I have recorded an episode um, which should be out this week. But yeah, if you want to have me collab with anyone or do a podcast episode with anyone, let me know in the comments 
down below because I want to make it happen. I, I love talking to the top two fans. So let, let's get the ball rolling and let's get that conversation started. But yeah, thank you so much for all the support. Take care. Love you all and peace.